Let's talk about connection. So little known fact about me is I love research. I think that doing research is what starts ideas. In this company, we look at all kinds of different things. We dive deep, uh, we get the information, and then often we shape it and morph it into something that is really applicable to us and to our clients. So I do that for almost every single thing that I do. As a branding strategist and a business strategist, I often work with clients in fields that are not native to me. I don't necessarily know everything about their area of business. So I have to do a ton of research and educate myself. And I love that because that means that I'm in this space of humility, right? You have to be super humble to learn. Anytime you're learning something, you first admit that you don't know, and then you do the research. All right. So with that said, a few months ago, I really started noticing this term that I had heard some time ago called connection economy. And it really spoke to me because, you know, last year we were doing our business uh, on Zoom. We're virtual. We didn't really have connection. At least the word connection became redefined for many of us. So this idea of connection economy is not new. And there's a ton of wonderful research that you can find on the internet, articles, books, podcasts. If you wanna dig in, go for it. But basically the idea is that connection economy is about, no spoiler there, connecting. It's about building relationships. It's about finding the overlap right? You meet somebody and you ask them a question and then you have that moment where you go, oh yeah, me too. I have a similar interest or yeah, that's been my experience and you create connection. Well, connection economy is built that way on a large scale. You already participate in the connection economy by having a Facebook account, a LinkedIn account, a, you know, Twitter and Instagram account. All of that is part of the connection economy. Recently, we have learned that there is even more research being done and we're growing this idea of connection economy. We are now talking about the experience economy. So the experience economy has really taken a hold in the recent years, especially recently in the 2020, 2021, where we're really looking at creating an experience for our audience, whether that is in person or virtual. And we're going to see more and more hybrid experiences. An experience for your audience and for your for your participant is something that they will remember, where they will have an experience that directly connects to your brand, to your value proposition. And it might not directly connect in an obvious way. I will give you my favorite example, uh, which is last year, my team and I created a tiny virtual event and we were thinking of things to put in an envelope and we were racking our brains and thinking of what is on brand for us. What do I want to share with, with my participant? And then we thought of something fun. And one of us mentioned a yellow boa. And so the yellow boa it was, and it went into every envelope. My house was covered in yellow boa feathers. And somehow that yellow boa became a representation of connecting and networking. If you go, little side note, to Google Be Better platform, you will see that that brand is black and yellow. That was an evolution that came about with that yellow boa because it's a, it was an experience and our audience really loved that and connected with that. And sometimes people see me and say, hey, I remember you from the Yellow Boa event. That's an experience, whether it's directly connected to your value and your service, i.e. you provided a excellent experience for your customer. Let's say you're a realtor and you took care of them superbly and they feel loved and cared for and you gave them a wonderful um, gift at the end of the transaction. That too counts as an experience directly connected to your service. The yellow boa is just sort of a fun bit. So those are two types of experiences, very simple level one. The next bit, and this is the fun part, 
is now we're looking at transformation. We're saying connect, experience, transform. We're seeing that transformation happens over time. That transformation changes a person's thinking, changes how they approach a, a certain problem. It changes how they will behave in the future. I am really curious to see where this goes. I'm curious about the research that is going to be coming out over the next few months and years to come. Because one of the things that we're seeing for sure is that the experience and the transformation is about showing up. Too many of us have conditioned ourselves to connection being just a one-off kind of thing, like somebody you follow on Instagram or somebody you DM'd on LinkedIn. And experience and transformation is asking us to continually show up and to be present, to be aligned to our value proposition and to always speak with authenticity and truth from that place. I am really excited to see how transformation will continue to play a role in business because ultimately business is a force for good. It is the platform upon which we can build and interact on, connect, experience and be transformed through and transform our communities and each other and our world for the better. That is not just a lofty dream of mine. It's really what I fundamentally believe is true about doing good work and being interactive in our business and in our economy.